Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 91. How to day trade any market, the $1,000 a day challenge. Now in today's session, I traded uh, for around, I think it was around an hour for around $1,500 net. What I'm going to do actually is run you through the live trades. That is, I recorded the session. I just hit pause in between the trades. So what we'll do is once I go through a few slides here we'll then go through step by step the trades that I took and I'll uh, explain to you the logic and uh, one trade look was perhaps a bit dicey <laughs> it was a loss but um, look I'll talk about that when we get to the charts uh, and traders no matter which market you trade whether it be futures forex or stocks you apply you apply the exact same rules to that market we do know that there's a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and one of the great things about trading today is of course you can stay on the simulator until you're ready to actually go live all right very quick advertisement if you haven't downloaded my ebook the truth about day trading you can do that in the description link below please make sure you give a big uh, a big tick that you like my video once I go through because as you'll see I give away a lot that is I, I give you massive value I show you exactly how I trade and even better still become a member for $197 uh, you get all of my indicators you get uh, these over 35 PowerPoints there's literally hundreds of hours of instruction the great thing is though you don't need to focus on all of my setups so where I've got here 15 plus setups is really less than a handful that you'll probably be looking for each day but they're all rules based and pattern based and on top of that I have a bonus whereby you can also attend one month free of my live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. you can log in uh, where I'm discussing everything from trading psychology through to money management through to from the right hand side of the chart explaining step by step exactly what you're looking for all of this for only 197 there is nothing else like this out there and if after the first month you like it drop me an email and you can sign up and continue there on after now this is important I do mention this to those that are perhaps that are brand new to trading in today's session you'll see that I'm trading both with the trend I'm taking one or two counter trend trades and so one of the one really one of the critical ingredients is a new trader you really want to focus on trend trading and as a new trader I have what I call the Goldilocks rule not too hard not too easy just right and I tend to find that you know just really having just a couple of setups initially is the way to go in fact you could specialize just in trading with the trend and I'll point those out to you uh, as we get to the charts and you'll see exactly what I mean this is not rocket science traders it's about following um, uh, a definite plan following your rules and looking for the patterns okay this is a game changer for 98 percent of the population and I know I bring this up every video because the shame of it is most day traders fail because they really don't know where to start they don't understand the money management and really what they should be doing initially and unfortunately so many of them set this big grand goal which is just not achievable for a new trader but I'll tell you what is 100 to 300 dollars a day is extremely achievable and I'm going to show you how to do that today so what would five thousand dollars a week mean to you and your family it'd be probably a game changer it would change your life well I'm going to show you how to do that realistically now I recommend to brand new traders you focus on hundred dollars a day initially then you go to 150 you go to 250 because then you're building both confidence and competence and I think in today's live session will be a really good example just to explain that to you as we go along so uh, what I executed here was and if I remember correctly no that was the one before it's all right I was thinking of another video so uh, if I go to the second page so I'm going to walk you through the live trades here so you can see uh, the trades are taken on the screen but in fact I was recording at the same time so I'm going to explain each setup so in total there was um, eight trades one loss one break even six wins 
in 55 minutes so uh, when we get to the charts in a moment well actually in this case to the recording I'll explain this but what I do want to briefly cover is this let's quickly talk about money management let's talk about the hard stuff I want you to remember traders that winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do for an example most won't listen to the advice I give when it comes to proper money management uh, they won't listen to as far as following your stop-loss rules etc you'll be amazed and they wonder why they fail time and time again now to trade this market this particular time frame so I love trading around the midnight through to 3 a.m. Central Standard Time now that's not going to suit most of you of course most of my clients are right in the US however that suits me down under that's late afternoon early evening for me and usually I'm over and done with within 20 minutes to an hour I've finished I've hit my target now what it comes down to traders is there and and sorry I my daughter is just uh, is just using my office printer I can just hear it going I'm just gonna pause this for a moment if you can hear that you'll have to excuse me a sec okay that threw me out for a sec okay but the printers now stopped so it comes down to that if you want to trade the four tick Renko which I'm showing you today uh, and and oh, and let me also mention it doesn't matter whether you want to use tick charts time-based charts Renko range I can um, I can uh, uh, it the setups work on all markets and all time frames I love training traders how to use particularly newer traders how to use Renko because it makes their trading decisions so much easier now to trade this time frame you need four thousand dollars to stay within our two percent money management rule you can get away with as little as three thousand if you have a tighter stop loss which if I remember when we get to the live charts I'll show you and then explain how you could do it and have a smaller account but even if you got the four to six to eight thousand however much you've got you can start now on the micros and you could get away with 300 but if you start on the 400 a day here sorry the 400 a day the $400 account trading a micro which is 10% of the large account within 12 weeks you're now up to $4,000 and then you can roll over and start trading the big contract now once you switch over you've now got 4,000 you're going for 10 times that amount you're going for 200 a day okay and in 12 weeks there you've got an income there of ten thousand dollars a week and legally I've got to say potentially now if you go back and watch my videos time after time I'm hitting my targets now yes do I have losses absolutely now I'm going to show you how to avoid some of those losses too or how to increase the probabilities of your trading now one thing I did want to show you just here is uh, where is that little handout is very important how many trades uh, a day would you need to undertake to hit a target of $200 a day now I'm a scalper which means I have a, usually a small fixed target get in get out get paid that's my <laughs> my members hear it every day I've got a live trading room as well they hear me say this it's like a mantra get in get out get paid okay I love to have a cash register in so if you're going for four step scalps okay and I'll show you what those those are in the recording you need four net trades a day or seven steps you can get away with them um, around three to four trades a day and you've hit your target and that is after commissions now what I have is a set of tools which uh, members use and for an example if you go for just 250 a day and in today's video you'll see I hit uh, $300 a day um, quite easily within an hour you can see where you are there within week 10 okay potential income there of $13,000 and most importantly look at your capital now it's at 51,000 and if you're not familiar with my um, compound calculator you only start trading an additional contract each time you get another 4,000 in your account I've seen some garbage on the internet where it shows you can do this in a matter of weeks it's just BS traders okay you've you want to basically be using the markets money because that way you're building both confidence and competence at the same time 
so 250 to 300 a day is extremely realistic now that's after hours that's trading what we call the globex session now you go and start trading during the New York session you know it's six seven hundred dollars a day is achievable however you also got a larger account size requirement and the market is a lot faster okay so there's some a couple of challenges trading the New York session in fact the first 15 to 30 minutes of the New York open are what we call the killing fields that is where um, traders can really get hammered in that time now if we looked at this compound table here starting off with just $20 a day going to 200 when you roll over this is taking you only 24 weeks so based upon 50 cents a tick it's taking you 12 weeks so but this is where potentially you can be in 24 weeks now hand on heart I do have to say this add another 10 weeks to that and the reason being I recommend members or traders that I coach and work with that they do not trade live until they're consistently profitable in a simulator why would you trade on a real account until you're consistently profitable uh, the only real reason is FOMO fear of missing out but what actually happens is they're hardwiring bad habits and when you blow your account once or twice by doing silly things the psychological damage it's incredible it's very hard to get over then you become hesitant in taking the trades etc so realistically in under seven months eight months you can have a full-time income day trading if you approach it correctly which is slowly slowly catchy monkey start on a simulator go to a micro now on the simulator you're very confident and you've got the financial means well then yes jump up to one contract and start from there now what this means is I can have a maximum stop loss of 16 ticks okay if I'm staying and and so this is the rule I don't think I'd mention we never ever ever risk more than 2% I have a max risk rule per trade of 1% so I'm typically 0.5 to 1 it means a lower rate of return on my equity however it also makes trading a lot easier but this is a really good spot to start but if you break these rules traders this is where it's going to put you back and it's just devastating to your financial account it really is so what we're now going to do I'm going to pull up the recording now it goes for 18 minutes and I'm going to give you commentary I'm going to, there's no sound on this one so I'll give you commentary as I go through it and just explain exactly what I was thinking uh, as much as I can remember <laughs> at the time it was um, three or four days ago I recorded this session uh, but some of the critical things here and these are really easy to learn uh, they're very much rules based that is um, and and you've got indicators that plot these automatically and they're free that's a great thing about it is where are your pivot levels uh, and if you don't understand what these are don't worry about it they're easy to learn okay so where are our pivot levels our prior days open high low and close levels major EMAs very very important as you will see they'll make you a lot of money when you know how to trade those your intraday swing highs and lows why they become price tag um, price magnets and your current open high low um, uh, open high and low so let me pull this up so uh, let me hit record I oh, sorry record hit, let me hit uh, play here and so this is a four tick on the NQ now if you're not familiar with the NQ uh, it is five dollars a tick what it actually means is trade is that see these from the bottom of the candle to the top okay these are actually called Renko bricks okay Renko in Japanese means bricks but each step so you're sort of stepping down that each step is worth ten dollars okay so each step down or up is ten dollars now what I'm after typically is six to seven steps so you go and get seven steps that's seventy dollars you get six steps at sixty dollars per contract and typically when I enter a trade if I'm using a buy stop or what we call a limit order I, I like to have my stop one tick below or one tick above except in a runaway market which is a bit beyond today's session to talk about so let me hit record so record let me hit play once again my videos are all real and unedited okay so 
I've now hit play so I've entered this particular trade here and this is what I call uh, as a bet the farm trade um, so I think I might type some commentary on there now what I actually just did then was one answer the trade I'm using uh, an order on my matrix so it's automatically set when I enter I've got an automatic stop loss and target you could see there I just increased my target but I needed to increase my stop loss there by one tick so I'll manage the trades now reason I just increase my target so automatically in my ATM I've got a target of seven steps so if I shorted there I'll be after seven if I shorted there I'll be after seven steps and as you can see there's probably eight to ten steps might be 15 to 20 there and where you'll see me increase the target is if I've got say a pivot in front of me and I've forgotten what I've typed on these charts so there we go so um, so there I'm targeting the pivot so I'll pretty much do that each and every time now see that down here this is a 200 EMA and you can see we bounced off it we've bounced off it again and what you'll discover is that there are certain EMAs that um, we bounce off every day pivots and see that green line that's the high of day all of these become what we call price magnets a major support resistance levels now in taking this trade I'll usually front run and what that means is I'll get out a couple of ticks before usually the pivot now with this one I could have actually um, increased that even gone up and front run that high up there now what just happened then uh, once I hit five steps I automatically go to break even now the challenge with that at five steps sometimes it'll come back and stop you out and then continue so if I've got a so it protects you if you've got a sort of a trade that may not be an 80 90 percenter uh, but if I know I'm in a really high probability area or I've got a really high probability trade what I'll actually do is pull my my stop loss back down so and so there I've hit my target so stop loss traders means sorry my entry price um, so I'll go to break even that's my entry price plus a couple of ticks this is what I really should have done up here is is entered this trade uh, sorry um, increased my target up to the high of day but instead I got out here now just here I've got an order pending so I've got a pending order here to go short okay and there's some rules that I work with and if I remember correctly I didn't actually get filled on this one now for members watching this this is a 1 DA and you can see I was one tick from being stopped into that trade into this particular trade now this is actually a counter trend trade which is a trade that um, I really recommend new traders do not counter trend trade at all okay when you first start trading you want to be trading just remember the term see the the gold EMA follow the gold okay you had a short there you had a short there but if you shorted there what's in front of you a 200 EMA so you get ready for a bounce now this is what we call a 2d uh, and I've got uh, means I've got divergences on two different time frames so I've come up with a formula so I've been day trading now for 28 years and I've come up with a formula which works an absolute treat on where to have your the settings to use on an entry chart on an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two and they all work hand in hand and so when you've got divergence on a number of time frames that can really dramatically improve uh, the probabilities of your trade now in fact I remember this uh, I actually should have increased my target and for members watching this the reason being I had divergence on the anchor chart too what does that mean a deeper pullback so normally traders and you can see there we just went to break even okay so automatically uh, my tail went to break even and usually I will get out here at the 89 EMA okay and the reason being we'll quite often get a bounce now these blue lines by the way these are what we call pivot levels so will I get a bounce I can't remember now but um, generally 
uh, here's my target just below and if I think it's stalled what I'll do then is just pull it up and get out so we'll just see what happens here uh, in a moment uh, you can see there that um, this is very high probability because of a 2DA and as I mentioned I should have increased that down to the pivot and down of a 200 and so that was a bit of a mistake I made here and this is when I will go for a much larger target than say just going for what I call seven steps this is what you've got to watch to you can see here I've hit my target but I'm still not filled uh, that is I haven't got my um, I, I, my trades not covered yet so uh, fingers crossed uh, and what I've done here so here I'm now filled and my point there was that major divergence on the anchor chart to I should have gone for a larger target okay so just down here uh, for members watching this we've got a potential 3b Oh, <laughs> there we are where I typed it in I didn't even couldn't even remember typing it in so that is a potential 3b which means three bounces so uh, we'll just see what happens just here and I might even just fast forward this and it didn't come off there was uh, no reason and I th if I remember correctly this is uh, where I had a losing trade now it may look like here and so I went into this trade and I was stopped on this almost immediately now it's a very deep pullback and the reason I still took this trade uh, is I had some divergence and on the anchor chart so we're still trending nicely so I entered this trade but I do remember um, uh, I did get um, hammered on this one I shouldn't say hammered I got stopped on it very very quickly but you can see here these steeper pullbacks quite often provided your higher time frames trending you can do really well on those in fact if you want to go for a larger target now's the time to do that okay and that's coming down in a moment and I'll, I'll you'll see I get stopped now the safer form of trading is see the arrows just there that's called a t20 is to follow the direction of the goal when it's rolled over now there I then entered another trade just there now in this one I was in a, a wee bit late now this is um, on the higher time frame uh, this is what we call an 89 EMA break and so I'm targeting the higher time frame EMAs it's a really simple concept once you see it in in real life and how it works but you get to target um, uh, major EMAs on your entry chart but also on your higher time frames and it works an absolute treat and the reason being yes there's a lot of traders trading this time frame but there are also traders trading higher time frames and you'll soon discover they become very much it becomes a very self-fulfilling prophecy okay because so many traders will trade now see this down here uh, so generally speaking we'll come down uh, once again I'll front run down here and probably take a trade off that I think I take a trade off that if I remember correctly but we shall see in a moment so nice little trade here coming down now, now I'm not willing to give anything away if I remember correctly no <laughs> I'd already gone to break even and there we'd be there I stopped out uh, sorry stopped out with a nice profit got to be careful uh, when I say stopped out you can get you can stop out with a profit as well now just here if I remember correctly I actually had a trade not long after here and I was in actually quite late see where my stop loss is see that there it actually I should have been in down here um, but I was in this particular trade quite late now this is now a very deep pullback and see up here these are called EMA see how they're now starting to trend down uh, this very now in a downtrend so what that would usually mean is these will become uh, targets and will usually bounce off those so see the cyan line what's the direction see the gold line what's the direction follow the gold 
so we're in an uptrend here uh, I'm now at break-even uh, if I remember correctly I can't remember when we got out now this can be a challenge because we go to break-even locked in a little more but I'm expecting and I'm now out of that trade there but we see this every day you can see there almost hit that and now we're in a downtrend now I actually went short here took a bit of heat as you can see there I took some heat on this one I was in here very late again okay so my stop I moved my stop to one tick above the swing so remember I like to have the swings now here we're in a nice downtrend but just be aware what's down below okay so down below when we come down and we hit this major EMA from a higher time frame what do we then expect a bounce now once we break through this level it's okay but just remember when we keep coming down you'll usually get one bounce after another and let me just fast forward this a bit here oh, and that there that's the data box so I'll usually be looking at that where to place stops and things like that the high and low of candles and um, here I've pulled up the anchor chart uh, one now this is the and this is good I'd forgotten about this this is the anchor chart one so I'm looking at what the anchor chart one what's our trend direction of the higher time frame okay so I'm regularly checking now I've got six screens so it makes it easy so I must have pulled that up to give you an example of what it looked like uh, so here I'm locking something in locking some profit in and the reason being what usually will happen here we'll get a reversal okay nearly always you'll get a reversal so we'll see how much I lock in down here I can't remember if I remember we went to break even I think I uh, didn't uh, here what have I done with my target and once again when you're trading live it's sometimes you think mm, will I squeeze a bit more out will I get my uh, pull pull down to so remember I go to my entry price and lock in enough ticks to cover the commissions and there I'm out uh, we're really I just picked up I can't remember how many ticks it would have been basically a break even now this is now interesting because I've now got a big it's called a big picture double bottom here and what I'll usually do and I can't remember if I traded here or not but I'll usually take a trade up to this and I did too so here I put an order in up to that level and I got damn slippage here for some reason I think I must have um, been half asleep there I was in late and usually I'll target just up here somewhere okay so uh, let's just see what happens just here now these are this one and this one these are counter trend trades so if you're trading with the trend you would have been in this one here and this one here and this one here um, they're a lot safer for a new trader remember you only need four three to four of these a day and you've hit your 200 a day if you're trading after hours now the after hours market what we call the globex market opens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and so you can trade the four tick that I'm showing you here from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right up to usually about 3 a.m. Uh, Central 4 a.m. Eastern when then you've got to increase your time frame now just here this uh, here almost certainly uh, so I've got my just here usually this would mean I'm in a trade here uh, so here I'm going for it seeing whether I can get a larger target uh, I can remember what happens here we'll see in a moment but uh, almost certainly I'll get another short up here and for members watching this if I get a short up here I can't remember here but it'll be what we call a 3b short okay so let me just scroll along here to save a bit of time okay so so there I got out of it oh no still not out of it but I am hitting the 200 and so that usually means traders that um, will get a bounce very high probability I'll get a reversal now if I take this trade and I think I this is where I did enter again guess where I'd be targeting again the major EMA down here and so I'm out of that trade um, basically only picked up a couple of ticks out of that one and I would then I guess I'd take it oh well here it is here I've got my order in 
here and I'll when I enter it I'll put my stop loss one tick above and I'm targeting for lower here again now see how I'm on the other side of a major EMA what you can actually do here is leave your leave your target on the other side but just make sure you're at break even as you come down okay because once again very good chance when we come down here we'll get another bounce to the long side now we are making some well lower highs so there's a good chance whoops that wasn't me <laughs> moving that list here well now uh, and here I'm stopped out of it so here I went to break even at that level why because of that now here what I was about to say is we're making lower highs and there's another lower low so there's a good chance then we'll break to the short side now let me just go back to that for a moment and just pause right there for you so that was a trades one loss one break even six wins so that was in 55 minutes now as I mentioned initially you want to is really focus on the trend trades okay that's what we call a 21 B that's a that's probably a 3b that's a 3b there as well and going back on the other side in fact if I pull this up just here okay they will walk in the park trades but just there see that there that's what we call a t20 that's a t20 just there and you would have had a t20 just on the other side here so initially you folk uh, oh, and that there is a trend trade as well but whenever we sell in the major EMAs we're expecting a bounce so traders this is not rocket science it really comes down to um, learn all of these are patterns by the everything I'm doing here you may have noticed oh when I hit this I'm expecting a bounce. it's it's a bit like chess because with chess we we're wondering what our opponent will do the market will do uh, that is is it going to go sideways going to go short going to go long so we're sort of anticipating but we know with a high degree of certainty where we're going to bounce because of a type of levels and the, and the patterns that we actually trade so traders I've covered a lot in this 32 minute session come and join me let me teach you how to day trade you can get my entire program you've got lifetime access for 197 uh, and that includes eight two-hour sessions if you can't attend the live sessions I do record them so you can watch the recordings you can send in emails questions where I'll cover those in the sessions so we have Q&A sessions usually where members I'm answering emails in each session so traders come and join me I love day trading I hope you enjoyed this uh, session see you in the next video thanks traders